Hello everybody, Birdo Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so we're back with episode number three. Um, now we got this quest to find finding honor and go to the ruined tunnels. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. That is our mission for today. We are gonna go there, see what's gonna go on, and uh thanks for the healing. That was very generous. <laughs> so yeah, um what can we say today? <laughs> it's it's been one of those mornings, you know, waiting for videos to upload and all that stuff and I've been just kinda of like dying to itching to play this game to uh you know, to advance uh with my rogue because I was doing really good with my I'm up to level thirty one with my ranger. Uh that's pretty pretty awesome. Um this I, I guess the game is starting to get a lot more interesting once you hit like level 20. Uh, the first like 20 levels, it's a little, a little tedious for grinding um, because it goes but pretty quick though, mind you. Um, and the back and forth with all the missions, and then you get later on, it's like bombarded with missions like you wouldn't believe, and like it's, yeah, oh, it's a, it's great. It really is great. It keeps you busy. Um, you're always like hunting stuff and uh, killing like big bosses, and now I'm up to the point where I'm like fighting a dragon, and I can constantly fight this dragon over and over again because it's like part of the heroic uh, rewards and stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. So, anyways, let's uh, kick some ass here and see what we can do. Alrighty. Heal a little bit there. What did you drop? Uh, all right, we'll take that. I'm after a while. I'm gonna start like um, maybe not picking up as much crap, obviously, because you're gonna just fill your inventory up like crazy, right? So I'm gonna be just picking up uh, probably until like I get to the point where I'm picking up a lot of other people's crap. Uh, I won't. Uh, there we are, arcane. Let's go. Have that. Yeah, I won't. Uh, I won't pick that crap up eventually. Like once I start making a lot more money from uh, mob drops and stuff like that. But at the same time, too, like uh, there's a point where you know if you're in an area for so long, you're gonna just. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Yeah, if you're, you're just gonna grind so long that, you know, just picking up the money that's on the ground, I think it's, uh, I'm up to like 30 or 40 bucks, like, for every drop, so that's not so bad, and I do get a lot more, a lot more gold, because on my horse, I have, uh, that stupid thing, anyways, you'll see later on, you can, you can add these bonuses to your horse, and you'll get more, uh, you'll get more gold and stuff through your battles, oh, crap, wrong one. There. Good stuff. Take that. Alright. I didn't forget that chest over there. I seen that. I just wanted to kill those guys first. What do we got in here? Some potions and some cash. Alright. We're good with that. We can deal with that. I'll take potions and cash any day. Uh, yeah. Alright. Honor rain. Oh, that's the bitch that stole the the crown. All right, come on. Do this. All right, take that. Now it's just me and you, bitch. Get rid of that. I'm out. That's pretty cool. I can pick this stuff up as I, I'm fighting. Look at that. She's like totally stunned. Barely hitting me. This is great. Oh, I like this rogue. This rogue is great. All right, so what's in here? Search the backpack. Oh, I think we got that crown. Oh, we got some notes. Oh, all right. Uh, 75% chance. Ah, oh, really? Come on, come on. Yay! Good, because I know there was a treasure chest back here, so. Yes, treasure. I love the treasure. Ah, we got a dungeoneering kit. That's good. At least we got one for the one that we broke and that we used, but oh well. Just missing that other one. All right, so we got another treasure chest. So like I said, at the end of each little era, area, you're gonna get like a, you know, a treasure chest like that. So speaking of which, right bump, left bumper and that, we do have some uh, weapons to equip. And this one's best in good both hands, right? So we'll replace the other one. Equip 
we'll replace that one. Alright, so what else did we get here? Let's just rearrange that. Um, recommended. So, I always go with the stuff that says recommended, so that's one of the things I'll always look for uh, when I'm choosing my thing. Because you know on the right hand side, it says recommended, that's the one that's best for you. So I always kind of go with that, and, you know, that's that. Alright, so we did get some new stuff. Alright, so now where are we going? Uh, with this friggin' thing. Alright. So, out of the sewers we go. Probably gotta go cash this quest then. I'm assuming, anyways. Uh, and if you hear any very loud noise them in the background, I'm terribly sorry. I got the door open and traffic during the day here is pretty hectic. So, yeah, sometimes you might hear some big-ass motorcycles going by and it sounds like total death. <laughs> oh, it's pretty crazy. Um, Alright, so let's go cash this thing in. It's too bad I don't... I can't wait to get him a horse. It does help, you know, mind you. Uh, it's a lot faster, a horse, compared to just, you know, running. But we'll get there soon enough. We'll get there. Yes, we will. We will grind the hell out of this. And we will get to our horse, and we'll get our invoking. And that's kind of stuff that uh, I'll uh, get to in later episodes, obviously, if you're wondering what the hell all that is. But... Yes, right now let's go cash in our quest and get another one so we can continue our killing spree and our growth of our character. Because this is what's really important, is to grow our character as fast as we possibly can to unlock some of these uh, specific uh, things that we can uh, start claiming these astral diamonds. Uh, as soon as we start doing that and the sooner we start collecting Protectors those... Play, and, needs your um, help. Thank you. And then we can start making some uh, real cash from all this. So. All right, trail of the crowd. Both ones going to Black Lake District. That's going to be trouble. Black Lake District is a mess. All Not right. Just talking about the sludge from the lake. The National Rebels are openly defying Lord Nevermore's rule and are attacking anyone who won't swear loyalty to their leader, Karzov. Meet with Private Hothwardon Falwin. If Gothwin is still in Black Lake, Hothwardon will know about it. Excellent, excellent. So now we're off to the next area. Uh, obviously, it's called Black Lake. This uh, area is pretty kind of it's pretty cool. Yeah, not a lot to do here. The enemies are just a little bit tougher. So every time you're going to go to a new area, obviously the enemies are going to be up uh, a level or two higher than you. So that way, uh, it gives you opportunity for good experience and all that good stuff. So now we're off to a new area. Woo! -hoo, Black Lake District. Yeah, let's go. Let's give her shit. So yeah. Uh, mm. Gotta have coffee. Love my Java. All right. So here we gotta speak to this gentleman. Once you step in this district, Black Lake is home only to the desperate and the deranged. Okay. Well met. I am Hothadon Thalwin, private in the service of the city of Neverwinter, soldier in the squad of Sergeant Knox. Finder of secrets and hunter of criminals. Excellent. That's quite the uh, title. Look forward to working with you. Last it's like Khaleesi. Sergeant Knox sent you on the trail of one Gothwin Cooper. I have news of his whereabouts, but I fear it's not good. All right. Our best hope for finding Karzov in the Stolen Crown lies with the Nasha Cutpurse Gothwin Cooper, who took part of the theft. I've marked a few of his known haunts on your map. Investigate those areas and see if you can turn up some clue to where he may be hiding. I shall do that. All right, so now we can get some quests from this lady here. All right, so now we got some quests. Uh, that guy doesn't have any quests. Claiming his tool was through a tyrant. But all they really want is to line their own pockets. All right, so this is the stolen goods for the old lady. Excellent. I shall do that, my lady. I shall go take some of that stuff back and I'll give it to you. Alright. So I like doing, uh, making sure that I get all the quests before I head off into a certain area. Mainly for the simple fact that um, when you when you're going around, you can sometimes end up having to do like two, three quests in one shot and you can kind of save yourself a lot of uh, a lot of running around, to be honest with you. Uh, it's so much better when you are not running like crazy all over the place. All right. Excellent. Well, that was good. 
Alright, so there's another clue right here. And then, I believe it's over here, the other one, right? Yeah, let's go. Get that last clue, and then that quest will be done. But then we just gotta find one more... Um, one more thing for the old lady there. One more goods. Alright, perfect. Alright, so that's done. Oh, that's pretty cool. All the little beams of light. Alright, so in this area here... Oh, I don't have an arcane skill on me. I should be able to find another one pretty close by. But they're not... Uh, as you seen earlier, I found four just like walking around right quick. So the other one shouldn't be too, too hard to find. Now I got an enforcer here. Let's get rid of your scabs first. Awesome, thanks buddy. That was a little bit helpful. Uh, nothing there. Alright, here we go. One last stolen goods. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So let's go cash in these two quests. Not bad, we're up to 11 minutes. Um, <laughs> and I got two quests done, that's pretty good. Let's see what else is after this. And I'll be able to do maybe a couple more. And uh, Yeah. The waterfront right. is a dangerous place. A priest of the lurking god Ganadar is summoning unnatural things from the bowels of Black Lake. Drive back the terror and slay the priest. Oh yeah, that was a, uh, a quest. I guess that's like a, a dungeon. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Keeping Sergeant Knox the dismissive note. Dead rats. We aren't the only ones who want Gotham to reveal the location of All Parasite right. and the Crown. A gang of so were what do we got dead on us caught here. wind of his involvement. Alright, we got lots of space. I'll the go Nash sell that stuff just to Gotham make a little bit of extra fate. space. So if you can rest uh go to sell, get rid of this. Wow. That, that, and that. And then we're good. Alright. Just so we have extra space when we go into this next area. Um, what's you? What do you got The going more on? I look, the more it seems the Ashman and I have their claws in everything. What's that? You want? All right. So what's this? Collect marks from the disguised. All right. We gotta find some disguised people in here. Ah, uh, we can do that. We'll find something. I'm sure we will. Oh, looks like I went up a level. And I have mail. Uh, friend. Oh. Holy crap. Where'd you guys come from? Oh well. Alright. At least I know I can hold my own. <laughs> Alright. So that's the mission where you gotta go with the rats and stuff. And she gives you another mission for sludge. So let's try to find these things that whatever they're looking for here. Uh, kill this guy. Really? Wow, that was weird, eh? Interesting. Alright. Well, I'm sure these things gotta be... I didn't redo this quest before, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not quite sure here. Obviously there's something that I gotta find, right? Find and kill. Alright, what's over here? Crazy, crazy, crazy. I wonder if it's because there's so many people here farming that uh, shit's not popping up, right? Sometimes that happens. I don't understand why people are making so many new characters. <laughs> or there's just a bunch of new people actually coming to play the game, one of the two. But I find, like, so far, a lot of the servers are full and stuff, so it's hard to, uh, hard to find some good, um... Oh, whoa, what the hell? Really? You're gutsy. Alright, what the hell? A long sword. Don't need that. What the hell is this? 
Alright. Oh, that was one of those marks. Alright. Oh, heal myself. There, take that. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Alright, so that was one of the things. I gotta look for something glowing. Or, oh, that was it. That was it. Yeah, alright. Done. Sweet, that's wicked. That one was easy. <laughs> I don't even remember collecting two of them, but if whatever, it's all time, good. We I've salvaged yeah. what I can, okay. but I'm she gonna needs need some new samples of Black Lake Sludge for me work. Yes. The samples must come from specific patches of the sludge, which wouldn't be difficult, except the whole area is swarming with violent rebels. I'm willing to pay you to collect the samples for me. All right, I can deal with that. Let's kick their ass. Get rid of this big bastard. Sludge Hulk. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, so there's going to be some more sludge monsters coming out of this thing. That I remember. Alright, so we've got some more samples. We only need one more to go. And then they're right here, so we'll probably have to defeat these guys. Alright, yeah, take that. Eat it, motherfucker. Oh, ouch. I guess I should have dodged that one. I didn't see that. I wasn't kind of looking. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we pick up here? Some armor. Uh, I'll have to go take a look at that afterwards. We'll get out of here. We'll go cash that quest in. Oh, is there another quest over here too? Oh, look at this. Is that part of something else? or Nope, it's another quest. Talk to the close down. Oh, okay. By gnashes and dead rats. My employer would like people to move back into the district, but before that can happen, we have to get rid of the gangs. Two gangs is an easy problem to solve. We just have to get them to. Most folks, excellent! With these samples, I'll right, finally so be able to discover if the sludge is animal, return, vegetable, mineral, we'll get or undead. This will we'll... be a huge help to me research. There are some reagents you don't want to use on undead sludge, believe me. Oh, all right. I, I will believe you. So let's go cash this quest in. And there's a lot of running back and forth, but, you know, I guess I could have just jumped right into the sewer one and called it a, you know, and it came back here afterwards, but I want to get my experience now. You were able to find okay. now, slot, a third and Just as I suspect. Press the menu button. Oh. Select powers. And then buy or reassign an encounter power. Alright, so let's go over here. We'll do this now. Alright, so I want to... That's my right trigger, so can I upgrade that one? No, I can't. I'll do that one. And I'll do that one. There we go. Oh, schnut. Already in one. Did I move that around or what? I did too. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. <laughs> I was wondering. Because what I did was this. Um, really, it should have been X, right? So, move to X. Because that's where it was before. See? Alright, that's better. It's kind of back to normal. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's part of that thing that I have to do for uh, for Buddy here. All right, put these posters, I guess. So we'll do that. We'll place these posters, and then we'll go into the sewers. And that should conclude today's episode. Really, get rid of a whole bunch of quests. I didn't even do these quests before. I, it's funny. Kick your ass. That's right. Take it. Uh, put up another poster. Alright, where are the other ones? All over here. Alright. This is actually pretty cool, man. I didn't do these ones before. Yeah, take that. 
Alright, I'll just take that so I can sell it. Make some cash. Uh, that's that one. Put up another poster here. Alright, where's the last one? Where's that last one? Over here. You stupid things. Sometimes I get I look at the map and I get completely lost. It's really funny. Uh, so right on this post. Interesting place for it. Alright, so now let's go into the sewers and get that mission done with. Because then we can go over here and we can uh, we'll be able to cash in both quests at the same time. Alright. So enter the sewers. Let's go. Let's give her shit. So this just gives you kind of an idea of the kind of uh, stuff that you're going to be doing in uh, these videos, right? A lot of, well, in this, in this game when you play, it's like a lot of running back and forth. But in the end, once you you get stronger, all this running back and forth and stuff, you, you tend to do it a lot faster than you normally would, right? Alright, so... Looking to see if I see any any glittering stuff so that way you know like uh, you can find lore or treasure chests or you know any other crap and I gotta be careful too like since I am a rogue I will be able to detect all the uh, all the traps and everything which is pretty good oh, did you just poison me or something? You bastard that's so not right and I pick up that too Give me that. Now I can go sell it. Make some money. Yeah, at the beginning, I, um, I pick up a lot of crap. A lot of crap. There. Me too, I can throw stuff. Dink. Alright, so that's to continue on. Do I have any of this? Nope. Arcane is good. We'll open the lever. Oh, brings this crap door. Ooh. Funky. Alright, now, there are, these are traps spotted. Disarm the trap. Trap disarmed. Excellent. Uh, treasure chest. Love it. Love it. See, that's what I like. I like the rogue. Just because I can detect all these traps and there's another one right here. Tell my friends, you know, like, hey, don't step there. There's a trap. <laughs> uh... So I'm looking forward to getting this character up enough so that way I can uh, jam out with my buddies on it. And that way I can maybe start doing videos with them with this character as to oppose uh, my other character that I have that I've been kind of like grinding out. Uh, which will be a lot of fun too because eventually I'm going to have to start implementing both characters to kind of do like certain jobs and stuff. Um, and what I mean by that is like uh, the Astral Diamond Exchange and all that kind of crap and uh, I think, I'm not sure about uh, that kind of stuff but I know you can, uh, I know you can like pass money between characters uh, like the gold and crap like that, uh, silver and all that uh, but I'm not sure about the Astral Diamonds and stuff like that so I'll have to kind of check into that one to see if uh, if that's possible. If not, well, then every character has to do their own astral diamond thing, so I'll have to grind so many days with both characters, uh, so many hours per character per day, and that way I can get my max amount of um, astral diamonds for that, you know, character, I guess. But we'll see how that's going to go. I'm not exactly 100% sure on uh, how all that works, but we will definitely learn and we will definitely take a look into it all and see how things go. Oh, really? Oh, well, that worked. Oh, there it is. Take that. Oh, ouch. Alright, maybe I should get rid of some of your ads a little bit here. There we go. But you're really annoying. There, take that. Me too, I throw stuff. Uh, Alright, let's use a potion. Get my health back up here. And we should be good to go. Alright, so we'll have to talk to that person. But before we talk to that person, we're going to move this. That's going to open up a little area down here. We can go get the treasure chest. 
things that I remember, things that I remember, just so that we show everything possible between characters and stuff. I wonder if I get experience for um, for these traps, like when I disarm a trap. I wonder if there's any experience involved with it. I'm going to have to check that out and uh, find out. Because I'll just undo them for now. Uh, that should be it, right? I don't think there's anything else down there anyways. Could have walked around to go and check, but... Alright, so that's done. We've got some boots now. So let's go and see the boots that we got. Oh wow, got lots of stuff here. Uh, lifesteal. We'll go with lifesteal. Apparently lifesteal is pretty decent to have. Uh, we'll put that on. It also has lifesteal. Um, that one's got movement speed. Alright, we'll take that. Uh, no. I like the other one better. Um, no. This is belt. Level 6. Uh, what's this one? Nope. Alright, that's pretty good. Won't uh, stay in that menu too, too long. Alright, so we got that, that, that. Now that's done. We can go cash in our quests, and that will be episode number 3. So I hope you're all enjoying this. I love, I'm loving this game so far, and... To be honest with you, because I don't know like all 100% everything about the this more game. I look, the more it seems to cash We've done all we There we go, that's a quest cashed in. Um, like I said, don't because I don't know all the little gimmicks behind the game, so like I, I have seen a lot of videos where people have been really pissed off with the new updates. I've been keeping Sergeant Nard surprised that Gothwin told us what just happened right. in this district. Hot on the trail. Kozov is hiding in a safe house nearby, while the Crown is hidden in their headquarters. Excellent. Meet with private Zoe Fargo. She's keeping watch over the safe house where Karzov is hiding. I shall do that. All right. So, like I said, I, I don't know all the little gimmicks behind the game, like to uh, get all the cool stuff. But we're eventually going to discover all that as we play along, right? So our main focus is to just kind of like play through the storylines and get everything done. So that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed episode number three. Peace. We'll see you next time.